Well, I hope you've been enjoying All But Done Dink. It is tricky. I mean, it's one of the trickiest songs I've ever written. Uh, I heard Chad Atkins say one time, I don't know why I write songs that's so hard to get up and play. <laughs> and uh, I kind of get that, you know, but when you've learned from guys like Chad Atkins and Jerry Reed and, and Merle Travis and Les Paul, and you find little tricks that they've used and then you develop your own. And, uh, and that's kind of what this is. It's a tricky little tune, All But Done Dink. And so uh, you can always go and refer back to the recording that I did on the, I don't know if it was a late, random late night or whatever it was, but uh, you can always go back to that for All But None Dink. No, I think it was part of the Guitar Poor series. So special thanks to Orange Amplifiers. I don't have my Orange Amp folks in the, the room. I'm in Austin right now. <laughs> About to go meet Eric Johnson, in fact. Eric's such a great player, and, and he just uh, wrote a song and did just what I'm doing to you, just put a camera on himself and sent it to me. And I did the same thing with him. I had written a new song with him in mind. And and, uh, and so, you know, uh, you should invest in... Uh, you can use your uh, smartphone, too, but, but record yourself while you're doing it, and you'll learn a lot from that, too. But uh, this is the second part. So uh, again, special thanks to GHS Strings and Orange Amplifiers and Zoom Products. And, uh, and you know, of course I use Fred Kelly Thumb Picks and, and uh, I use a number of GHS products too besides their strings. But I've always said that strings are not an accessory, they're part of the instrument. And so you have to find the right strings that are right for you. And especially if you go in to try out a guitar, uh, you should always uh, put your strings on there if you, if you possibly can. It makes a big, big difference. You can't always do that, but I mean, you know, but if you're really serious about it. And, and I think we should left. Now this is tricky. So you have to get back into that. So you're changing chords as a modulation from an E to an A. You can, or. And then start in your picking. This is something I learned from Chet years ago. So you're 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 picking the B. Uh, I'm sorry, D. Excuse me, uh, the D, and then your A. So that would be more of a in line with a a ninth chord. So you got these notes here. And you're still bouncing off that open string. That's your form of an A, second position, actually third. One, one, two, three. And then it will go back to where it was. Second one would be like an F, you know, if you ran it all the way, or a bar chord with an E, you know what I'm saying? And then, so it's third position, but you're only hitting a partial one. Same way I start off with a uh, uh, Bye Bye Blues. Same chord there too. When you're an A, you can bounce off that E string and bring some really interesting chord voicings in there. And those are things that I learned from Merle Travis and Chet a long, long time ago and still learning. Let's start. So this is a B7, and I, I do a thumb over here on, this is on your seventh fret. And, and then it'd be E like, 
like suspended, but I'm just doing a partial. And then A. And then G. And I've hammered. So that's like an augmented. So you're, you're open E and then a D here and then a C here and then an A flat and then E in the bass and back again. Now this uh, actually is not a seven. This is tricky here. So you're, it's, it's like an, like if you moved a little simple F all the way up to the, your A position. And then I just still keep this finger here, but I drop these two down. And then it's like if you move this all the way down to a G and then keep the A on top. And so. So you're you're dropping everything on on the the little F position except this these are your anchors here and here. And drop those so it. And it just makes a nice little uh, passage. And then. So. Again, you, that's your bass. It's similar to what you did. You see? I'm just kind of sliding those two together. descending bass line and then to a B you hit the chord strike down and then to do single notes and this is a, a an E ninth but it's all the way with an open E you have a lot of open E's in this song and slide it up and then hit that Start of tricky. to hit that up there too. And so you're just going and then up on a beat suspended and hit both of these and your bar here of course I just do my thumb over because I'm not picking this uh, fifth string That leads us to uh, the final chapter. <laughs> I hope you're getting some out of this, folks, because this is not an easy song to play. As you've seen, I had to start over two or three times doing that. It's tricky, but uh, once you get it, it's hard to divide it up and play it slow and do all that. Once you get it, you just play it without thinking about it, because <laughs> if you think about it, you'll mess up. Hope you guys are having fun. Thank you so much uh, for joining me, and I, I would... I, greatly appreciate if you would uh, subscribe and also give us a good like i mean we're so thrilled at the response that we're getting but the uh, uh of course we have uh 
the uh, Sunday string along, which is new, which where I just share my heart and scripture and, and things like that, you know, because I've done churches and ministry things for a long time. And I'll, I'll, I'll keep that more for the Sunday thing. And then, of course, I have a, a monthly pick fest where I just play guitars, you know, just different guitars and have fun and talk about guitars. And uh, that's what that's about. Sometimes we'll do a late night, uh, random late night picking thing, which is just kind of a short thing and just pick up a guitar and play some songs on it. And then, of course, this is a guitar pour series where I'll teach. And uh, so I hope you're enjoying it. And it's a labor of love for me. And uh, folks, thank you so much for supporting. God bless. Thanks.